Today, in our virtual excursion of an ecosystem, we are going to be looking at urbanisation. But before we jump into that, we are going to have a quick refresher of what an ecosystem is. An ecosystem is a community of living organisms coexisting with non-living aspects of their environment. For example, a plant, the living organism, coexisting with air or water, the non-living. For something to be considered an ecosystem, it needs to have abiotic and biotic factors. Referring back to our example, the plant would be the biotic factor and the air or water would be the abiotic factor. Biotic factors interact with each other and the abiotic factors to form a relationship within the ecosystem, whereas the abiotic factors shape the features and dynamics of the ecosystem. Let's take a look at our ecosystem. The significance of this ecosystem is the housing for thousands of people within the apartment buildings. Along with the housing, the many restaurants and mini shopping plaza offers countless job opportunities for people living within this ecosystem. This ecosystem is located in Brunswick, Melbourne. It has many large apartment buildings, double laned roads, restaurants, a mini shopping plaza with a large car park, and still has some greenery around. Let's take a further look at what urbanization means and some of the negative impacts there may be. Urbanization occurs when an increasing number of a population moves to urban areas, therefore resulting in the expansion of cities. It usually involves the movement of people from rural areas to urban areas for opportunities such as employment, education, improved living standards and healthcare. The biotic factors of urbanisation seen within this environment are the human, is the human population and the flora and fauna. Despite the human built structures being the dominant feature to urbanisation, it still includes a park with a walking track and gardens that house habitats for living organisms such as trees, plants, birds and insects. The abiotic factors present are the buildings, the roads and any other infrastructure. Other abiotic factors found in this ecosystem is the air and the soil. This is the park that runs through Brunswick that has a bike and a walking track for alternative modes of travel. Particular negative effects that urbanisation has on, it, on this environment include deforestation and air pollution. Deforestation is one of the most detrimental impacts of urbanisation. It refers to the cutting down of trees and the clearing of land for infrastructure. Trees being removed obviously leads to the removal of habitats for animals and food sources. Air pollution has a major negative impact as well. The cars within the ecosystem are producing carbon, carbon monoxide and other harmful gases into the air, therefore affecting the quality of air that we live and breathe. However, within this urbanisation ecosystem, there are many factors that have been implemented in the hopes to give the area a more sustainable way of living. For example, the addition of public transport. The trams that are located in the area are frequently running, with one coming every seven to ten minutes and they run directly into the city and other, trams, other train stations, meaning it is so easy for people to take these trams to work, school, or any other social event. The addition of public transport reduces carbon emissions, air pollution, and also means less con congestion on the roads. 